video I'm going to show you how to track your calories based on an example meal. So I have my food scale, I have chicken, a bun, ketchup, mustard, and a slice of cheese. I'm going to make a chicken sandwich. All right. So the first thing is with this scale, here's your on button, zero, tear, and your unit button. The first step is to turn the scale on, and then obviously you don't want to weigh the plate, so the way I like to do it is to put the plate on the scale and then turn the scale on. Alternatively, you could turn the scale on, put the plate on there, and then hit the zero button, but it's just a little bit easier to do it this way. So I'm gonna get about four ounces of chicken on this sandwich. It's four ounces on the dot. Now I'm gonna heat this chicken up and I'll be back in a sec. The chicken is heated up now. I got a bun on the plate. Now with the bun, there, there's really no point in weighing out the bun anyway. The serving size on the pack is gonna have the serving size as one bun or however many grams. But the buns are all gonna be pretty much the same size anyway, so you can really just trust that one bun is gonna be what it says it is on the label. So let's put my chicken on the bun. I got a little bit too much chicken, that's fine, I'll just eat it to the side. All right, again, the slice of cheese, the serving size is just gonna be one, so there's no sense in weighing that out. Let's put that on there, and now, the ketchup and mustard condiments and a lot of things like that I will measure in grams because the serving size is a little bit smaller usually for these types of things and grams is a smaller unit of measurement so it's a little bit more accurate. So I will go ahead and zero this out from where I put all this extra stuff on the plate and then I'll hit unit until I get to grams and then I will put the serving size on this ketchup, if you can see it, if the camera will focus right there, it's one tablespoon or 16 grams. Um, I always use weight measurements instead of volume measurements. One, because it's more accurate, and two, who really wants to get out a tablespoon and squirt the ketchup in the tablespoon and then scoop the ketchup out of the tablespoon onto your burger. That's just ridiculous. All about being easy here with Trade Away Training. All right. A little ketchup on here. All right, that is about eight grams. So it's a half a serving of ketchup. And then with mustard, if you'll see right here, the serving size is one tablespoon or five grams, which is zero calories. There are actually calories in mustard. It's just that there are so few calories that they can legally say it's zero calories for the serving size. And for this, we're gonna be putting about five grams anyway. So that's, that's actually three grams of mustard right there. So we're not gonna worry about tracking the calories for the mustard. Now, if it was something like honey mustard or something like that that had other ingredients in it, then that would be something that has a decent amount of calories and something that we would need to track. So in here in a minute, I will show you how to log this in my fitness pal. And we will want to track the chicken, the ketchup, the bun, and the cheese. Here we are on my fitness pal homepage. Now let's log the food that we just ate. So let's go to lunch here, hit add food. Let's search for the chicken. Let's do chicken breast search. Now you will see some of these check marks mean uh, that that item is verified. You will see that uh, these are actually branded items. So that's some brand of pre-cooked chicken. But if you look down here at shredded chicken breast, that's just a generic plain chicken breast, which is what we just had. I had a little bit of dry seasoning on there, but it was mostly just salt and a few other things that didn't have enough calories to count. Now, if you're going to do uh, liquid seasoning, then that's something that you'll probably have to consider since, you know, some people will do like uh, Italian dressing, for example, that will have a lot of calories in it. So if that's uh, something you put on your, on your meat when you season it, then you'll need to count that. But for what we just did with dry seasoning, it's essentially the same as a plain chicken breast. 
and let's look right here the serving size is defaulted to 56 grams but we measured ours in ounces so let's look at one ounce as our serving size and we had four ounces so we had four servings of one ounce save and then when we're done hit the check mark up here at the top and it added it to our lunch all right now let's add the cheese add food let's search again the cheese i had was borden fat free cheese search all right one slice right here that's what i had so the serving size is already one slice and i have one serving so i just need to hit check more all right easy peasy now there's another cool feature which you will probably want to use a lot that i'll show you right now let's go to add food and let's hit this barcode button up here in the top right hand corner so hit that and you can actually scan the barcode of the food item so let's scan the bun boom automatically pulled it up so you don't have to go searching through a bunch of other foods so if you do have the the barcode i would recommend doing it that way it's really easy so it already brings it up serving size one bun number of servings one just hit the little check mark boom done easy all right and let's also go ahead and do that for the ketchup let's hit add food hit the barcode button and then let's scan the barcode easy peasy all right and remember we only had half a serving of the ketchup so let's change that one to 0 0.5 save and you can look right here this is actually why right here you see this how low that those carbs are right there that's why i use the uh, reduced sugar uh, ketchup uh, not for any particular other reason I think it tastes about the same as the regular ketchup and it has half the calories so why not just save a few other calories to, to spend on, on something else that I would rather eat later. Uh, if you would rather have regular ketchup that's perfectly fine just keep in mind that you will need to take that into account with your overall total calories. So let's hit the check mark here and remember that we said um we're not going to count the mustard because the mustard is so few calories they can legally call it zero calories if it's less than five calories and we only had half a serving of mustard anyway so at most we had maybe one calorie from that and because of that we're just not even going to bother with taking the time to put that the total meal we have here we have our chicken cheese the bun and the ketchup is a total of 329 calories.